On today's episode of Tomar University, we are going to go through programming the Tomar Revolution series. Uh, here we have a box with one of our pre-programmed variants of the Revolution R46, which is the 4x6 uh, inch variant. This is an R46D-W-RW-02. This is pre-programmed to be one of our dual mode lights. So this is gonna be warning and uh, scene light function right out of the box. To make changes to this lamp, we are going to use a uh, 12 to 24 volt uh, power source. Uh, in this case, we are using one of the pyramid um, power boxes, which you can just get on Amazon or anywhere. You can use a battery, uh, just as long as whatever source you're using for programming the light is um, the same source for the power on the ground. All of the lamps come with this protective coating on the front of it, uh, which also states the uh, torque spec, which is a max of six inch pounds on there. Anything further than that, you risk uh, cracking the plastic, uh, either in the lens or the base. So, and it is a plastic lamp, we do wanna uh, handle it with care. On the back of the lamp, you're gonna find four wires. You're gonna find a red and a black, which are your standard power and ground. You're gonna find a yellow, which is going to be your sync wire, and then a blue, which is your secondary power. Uh, so if you're gonna be using this lamp uh, to do two different functions, two different flash patterns, then you are at least going to have three wires hooked up, which are gonna be your black ground, and then your two power wires, the uh, blue and the red. Uh, this lamp does have some advanced features where um, you can switch from active highs to active lows, uh, where you can use the common as a uh, positive and your two um, switched wires, the red and the blue, as a ground. We were not going to go into that for um, this uh, video. We just want to show some basic programming and uh, changing of flash patterns and flash rates. At the end of this video, you'll also get uh, an example of all the different flash patterns and the flash rates that are available uh, in these lamps. Uh, it's pretty extensive, especially when you have a dual mode lamp like this. The LEDs are controlled by quadrants, so you could have uh, different flash patterns or different flash rates uh, in different quadrants, in different colors. Uh, so when you uh, expand into all the different variables of that, it, we would be here all day doing this video. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to hook up uh, my, my power clip to uh, ground, my power clip to positive. And then to get into programming mode, the yellow and the red wire needs to be energized at the same time. This is going to tell the lamp that we are programming the red wire. The red wire is our primary function. Uh, we'll show you later how to do the blue wire as well. But for right now, we are going to uh, tap the uh, yellow over here to the power, and then we're going to turn on the power supply. And because these are both held on at the same time, we get this visual notification of three flashes. And this is telling the lamp that we are now in programming mode for the primary flash pattern. We can go ahead and release the yellow wire. So when we release the yellow wire, uh, now it's telling us that this is what the red wire is currently programmed to. So it's displaying that on there. Uh, on this particular pre-programmed lamp, these are set to a 75 flash per minute Neob flash, which is 50 state legal. It uh, meets California Title 13 uh, for flash rates. So this is how we, we typically put these uh, standard out of the box. Now, if I wanted to speed up or decrease the rate of flashing, I'm gonna tap the yellow wire. So now you notice that the pattern of the entire field has still remained the same, but the lamp is flashing faster. If we wanna go back, we just double tap the yellow, and now we're back at where we were. 
If we want to change the pattern of the lamp, we're going to tap the blue wire. In this instance, the pattern is going to change from uh, the, uh, what we call simultaneous to what's called flicker. And we can continue to tap through here to go through the different patterns. Uh, and then just like how we double tap to go backwards, we can double tap the blue to go backwards and it takes us back to where we were. Now, if we get lost or if we get to a, a, a situation where we just want to go back to what the lamp originally had right out of the box, we're going to take the yellow wire and we're going to do a long hold. What this is going to do is going to reset the lamp back to that original flash pattern and flash rate. But you'll notice that the intensity has been decreased. So if we want to get back to the original intensity, we're going to do that reset one more time. And now the lamp for the red wire is right back to where it originally started. If we want to change the colors of this lamp, because this is a dual color lamp, we have those white LEDs which aren't being used in this flash pattern. We're going to go ahead and do a long hold on the blue wire. So now we're using the second set of LEDs. If we want to further change it, we can do another hold. So now we're using both sets of LEDs. Again, to reset this back to the way it was, we're going to do a long hold on the yellow. And one more time, which will get us reset at full intensity. Now you can do any combination of the flash patterns, the flash rates, or the different colors to change up and customize this light to your specific liking. Uh, once you're done setting that pattern, all you have to do is disconnect either power or ground and it's saved into the system software. So now we just reconnected power and it shows that we are uh, not in programming mode anymore. We're just using the lamps function. So now let's go over programming the secondary mode of the revolution lamp. In this case, like before, we have our power and our ground hooked up and we use the clips because they're always going to be hooked up through the programming process. But now we want to tell the lamp that we're going to program the blue wire. So we're going to hold the blue wire there and then we're going to hold the yellow sync wire, which in this case doubles as the programming wire. Go ahead and turn on our power. And we're going to get a visual notification here of four lamp flashes, which is saying we are in programming mode for the secondary wire. Now we can go ahead and release the yellow and the blue. So again, only our power and our ground, our yellow and our black are hooked up. The lamp is now showing us what the secondary function of this light is doing, which is uh, what the blue wire does. Okay. On these lamps being dual mode, we just went from a flashing pattern to an additional scene light. So if I wanted to change this light uh, using a, a different flash rate, which would make it flash instead of steady burn or a flash pattern, we could do the same programming sequence that we did on the primary mode, but now we could do it on the secondary mode the exact same way. The wires are the exact same. To reset the lamp, again, we are going to do a long hold greater than three seconds of the yellow wire. It reset us into dimmer mode and then one more long hold and it will reset us back into full intensity of the factory uh, firmware defaults. To save, again, we just disconnect the power, unclip one of our wires, either way. That's basic setup and programming of a revolution lamp. The idea for the pre-program series is to have these lamps already set up to your specifications right out of the box so you don't have to go through the process of programming. This one being an O2 variant means it's set up to phase one, where an O1 variant will be set up to phase zero. When the two are combined, they will wigwag back and forth. And when synced together using the yellow wire, they will stay in harmonious sync throughout their entire operation. Like all of our solutions, the Tomar Revolution series is engineered here in our manufacturing facility in Gilbert, Arizona. And we stand behind our products just like we stand behind you.
For any more questions, visit Tomar.com or shoot us an email at sales at Tomar.com.